New at six, a 150 year old shipwreck is drawing quite a crowd at Stone Harbor Point, New Jersey tonight. The relic just became unearthed after sand levels shifted and now part of it is sticking out on the beach. Action News reporter John Rollins has more. Stone Harbor Point. Scores of visitors today walked a mile to see for themselves something unexpected from another time. It's all impressive that this is, you know, it's history. It's history. It's washed in. It's crazy. Massive wood ribs and timbers held together with wood pegs and copper nails. Thought likely the stuff of a 19th century shipwreck. It seemed to appear just days before Christmas. Right around the time it was discovered, we did have a, um, a strong southeast gale that came through here, and um, it's my assumption that that caused the shifting sands to go ahead and expose it. Uh, my guess is, best guess is at some point we'll get a northeast gale and it'll most likely cover it back up. But now it's a popular attraction. Most just snap pictures, but there is evidence of vandalism. Authorities think someone used a power saw to cut off a timber, prompting this mayoral appeal. Please not touch it. Don't take anything from it. Just sit, look at it, read the story of what this ship could possibly be, and just have respect for the, for the maritime history. One theory, this is part of the schooner D.H. Ingram that burned and sank very near here in a blinding snowstorm in 1886. Local lifeguards rode for hours to save the entire crew. Wonderful story. But, says the president of the Stone Harbor Museum, there were many historic wrecks in this area, and there is no way to confirm this wreckage belonged to the 1886 sinking. But whether it's the Ingram, I have no idea. We, you know, we don't have somebody's name on there. There is no little black box that we can dig up. So this is a shipwreck with many questions. Is it part of the Ingram? Why did it show up when it did? What will become of it? In Stone Harbor, John Rollins, Channel 6, Action News.